Good morning, Rabbi Sai. Ah, Lili Nishmasi Mimi Rosa Rosus Mordechai. Welcome to the guests. Names, anybody? You're not from Lakewood. What's your name? Yeah. David Rocca from? Two sons from? London. Givaldic. Welcome, welcome. By Jacob Locke. Dear Rebelli, so now you have a Tesla, Porsche, Rolls Royce, and a matching private jet. But B3 Bikes is willing to sponsor a ride on a SpaceX flight to the ISS International Space Station. You give the da from there, the ISS orbits Earth every 90 minutes or 16 times a day. So you basically have 16 sunrises and sunsets daily. You need to give 16 daf in 24 hours. You'd finish shots in about a half a year. Best regards, Yako. Shkoyach. And now, onto our program. So basically, I think what he's saying is that his Porsche was a joke. No? Sounds like he's rescinding that whole Porsche thing. I was, I was count, kind of counting on it. But boy, Sai, here we have the Oilam. If I'm not mistaken, we have Iro. Ari, Avi, Dani, and Jonathan Bodner, and Dani's child over there. What? I see him. Little guy, all doing the daf, of course, and the Tesla. Where are you guys going on a bike ride? But I miss it. You guys ride bikes together, no? Ah, they ride in the mountains of Bet Shemesh. Pichas Akilov. Good morning, Reveli. Can you tell me how to make the coffee? So if you're not familiar, Cafe Bustella, during COVID, I mentioned by mistake, like I mentioned by mistake that I need a car, a Tesla. I mentioned by mistake, I need, we ran a Cafe Bustella. Within a week, we had 25 bottles of this stuff sent in by Shlemy Klein. He also sent me one of these. We don't do this one. We do the, the instant. Great stuff. And since then, stock and Cafe Bustella went up a lot. It was a whole thing. I'm not a coffee pa- fan, but want to try it your way. It's not my way. Sorry, got the wrong product. Can you show me how to make it? Thank you very much. So Rabbi said, this video that I showed the other day, we're not going to show it again, but it's, it's a video picture of my friend's wife, Instagram, Rabbi Yossi Mendelovit, chilling in first class, doing the daf daily. This guy's with us every trip. Every trip he's with us. He's always keeping up with the daf and he's loving it. The coil this month is sponsored by Hatzloch, the Kol Mishpach is MDY. Aaron Freeman, the Schos, continued parallel to the Shmaya and Hatzloch the Rebelli. By the Lach and Lubavik families who offered a trip on the SpaceX, Lakewood, New Jersey, because Torah is the best gula. Lili Nishmas Chayabas, they're doing it for Torah, so you can do 16 daf a day. Ariel and Benji Davidman, in honor of the Shlofraks. I just asked the uh, um, Shimshi Shlofrak. Shim, what's his first name? Shamshi, Shamshi. I said, that, like, I remember going to the passport place when I was a kid, and they're like, Eliyahu, ste, ste. I said, how do they pronounce Shlafrak? <laughs> S-Z-L-F-A-F-R-O-K-S. How in the world are they going to get it? He goes, he was just there, Maisa and the lady goes, Shamshi Shlafrak. He's like, what? Is, she goes, I'm Polish. I know how it's spelled. I get it. <laughs> <clears throat> Boy, I didn't want to talk about this during Yantif and Israel Chag, but I must say a few words about a tremendous loss that Klai Yisrael had. Reb Uri Zohar, Zeichet Tzadik Levracha. Reb Uri Zohar had the opportunity to meet him a number of times. I went to his machsan. You have to understand, the, we have a lot to learn from this man. He's a, a person, till the age of 40, he was the top actor, singer in Eretz Yisrael, he was doing phenomenally well, Gashmis wise. He told me that he had the nicest house in Eretz Yisrael on the beach. I don't know, that's what he told me. He had a gorgeous mansion and he was on top of the world, Gashmis wise, Kol Dover, Usser, the whole thing. We know what Hollywood is all about. Age of 40, 41, in 1970 something, he decided to do tshuva. And he brought with him many, many people with him to the point. It was unbelievable. When I stepped into his place for the first time, I started crying. I mentioned it. I read that his place is 300 feet. I don't believe it's 300 feet. He gave his apartment to his son and he moved into the storage room. A storage room. No windows. Tiny little place. He put a sink over here and he had a dining table and a little, and his bed was right over there. 
His wife was sitting right next to us and he's on the table in this bathroom. Crazy. To, for a guy to go from all the way here and willingly he chose to give it all up and to go to the... It was just mind-boggling. Not only that, he was always busy learning day and night, day and night. I went in there, I said, listen, I need a favor from you. I had a problem here in Bet Shemesh. I, needed you, I need you to speak to somebody. Without any hesitation, he said, the guy will talk to me? I said, yeah. He got in my car and I drove him to Bet Shemesh. We couldn't get, the guy didn't want to speak to him. The guy knew that if he spoke to him, he would convince him. He said, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not accepting you. I love you and I can't talk to you. And we drove all the way back. Chesed, Taira, tremendous loss for Klai Yisrael. His neshama should have an aliyah. We're holding here Daf Tzadik, Daf Tzadik Beis. But we're all the way in the bottom of Tzadik Aleph. Omer of Ashi. <clears throat> So we're talking about an Eid Echad comes and says, testifies that the woman's husband died. And based on that testimony, she goes out and she gets married. If she gets married to the second guy, and then all of a sudden the rumors start coming up. Oh, her husband's still alive, still alive. We don't care about a rumor. Now, if the rumor happened before she got married to something else, hey, Kala, Elaine McCalla, the boss on and she already got married to the second guy. Rav Ashi already stated this halacha. What's the, what's the point to say it again? Rav Ashi top of tzadik beis. Kol kolo the boss and his son lechashino. Rav Zibushtein has a shaila about a tzav, about a turtle. Tav tzadik beis. Maisa shahaya. Serious. The guy, a guy puts out a trap in his backyard in Bnei Brak to catch the rats, and a turtle walked into the trap. And the neighbor stole the turtle. So he brought him to the rub. He wanted to know if it's his turtle because it was in his trap. So you could say, listen, he didn't have kavana. He only had kavana for rats, not for turtles. But Vizub Hashem Paskind, that he gets, the, the owner of the trap gets the, the turtle. In case you were wondering, something to do with Msech to Zivam is that Tzadik Beis. The Basen is soon like Hashinon. Kol Kol, the Basen is soon like Hashinon. Any rumor that comes up after they got married, you don't have to be concerned with it. Says the Gemara, here's a little different. Over here, there was sort of a call. Look, she had to go to the Bezdin with the Eidechad to say that the fact that her husband was alive once upon a time is not true. He's dead. Here's the Eidechad. So she was sort of dealing with this issue. And now the issue came back. So I would think that it's an original call that happened before she got married. He called the Kamin and Sundam even Titzar, and she should be also come Ashmalon. She's not also. Nisus Alpi Bezdin Teitze. So if an Eidechad came and she got married based on that Eidechad, like Teitze, but we have to do the next few words. What, what does it say in the Mishnah? That she does not bring a carbon. If she's getting married based on a Psak of a Bezdin, she doesn't have to bring a carbon. What does that mean? That it was a mistake, but not, we'll see in a second. Omar Ziri, Lesser Lemasnisin Midatani Be Midrasha. Our Mishnah doesn't go like the base Medrash. The Mishnah is wrong, or at least it's in contradiction to the base Medrash. The Tani Be Midrasha, we learned in the base Medrash, Hoyru Bezdin, Shishaka Chama, Ulamasev Zarcha. If Bezdin, I have a joke here, but it's only for. People that know Hebrew and Yerushalmi, I'm going to hold it in, even though it's mamish shokochama, it's mamish a famous shokochama joke, can't say it. Okay, I'll live with it. Shok, I'll tell it to you later, Benny. No, 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 I can't say it now. Yeah, this one? Okay, I'll say, he says, if I said the tzav, I can say this one. Those are your sh- I, to me, I left personally because I, unfortunately, had to go through the Leviah system in Yerushalayim, which is all Yerushalmi's these tough, cold Yerushalmis, yo, you should be saying, sell, yo, I'm so sorry, the whole thing. And I just show, if a kid is very good, the parents buy him a shoko and they roll, a hot roll. So this shoko is this plastic bag with chocolate milk. You make a hole in it and you, you, you pour it into your mouth. So this lady who was not unaffiliated, she went to make a Leviathan for her husband. So she's sitting there in the office and the Yerushalmi asks her, 
So she says, Shoko, what, how much does it cost? She says, 200 shekel. For 200 shekel, Shoko for everybody, she's thinking. It's Gishmak, during a hot levaya, everybody gets Shoko. So she says, yes. So she says, he screams out, Velvul, Zivil Shoko. Ah, Shoko. Shoko chamo v'atzoroyim. I knew nobody's going to laugh. Okay. Shoko chamo. <laughs> what? Because you're not a Yerushalmi. You just know Hebrew. Yeah, yeah. It was funnier than the Tzav. No, the Tzav wasn't funny. It's was It's funny that the Tzav Halacha made it to Rebzibu saying safer. By the way, I have, oh, you know what? So I'll tell you something funny. Here. So there was a, uh, seriously, because I, I messed up this famous story with the uh, grasshopper of Chaim's uh, Gemara. There's an end to the story, very important end. The a guy made fun. It's impossible, the grasshoppers on on the, on, on the Rukhaim's Gemara. So he went home and he found his entire living room full of grasshoppers. So he realized that you don't make fun of Rukhaim. He went and he asked Rukhaim Mechila. And he told all his friends. So the guy said, I saw this Maisa in Zubstein's Sefer. So the guy says, <laughs> Zubstein in his stories, Fashtais, you know, the Maisa Shkamataya. Impossible that the guy came home. That guy that made fun, he went home, he found 400 Elaine Lushabers in his, in his living room. Omaziri. <laughs> Listen, if, if Bezdin makes a mistake, they tell everybody it's not Chavez anymore. It's already Matzah Shabbos, you go to Meirev. In those days, no watches. It's dark outside, but what happened was there's a big storm coming in. Bezdin made a mistake. A mistake in Metzius. And then all, and everybody's Michal Shabbos because based on Bezdin, Zarcha, and then the sun comes out, Elotos. That's not a Psak Bezdin. They made a mistake. So over here also, it's not a Psak Bezdin that her husband is dead. They made a mistake. It's a mistake in reality. They thought he's dead, he's alive. It's not Pshat. They they took a piece of Khalev and they made a drasha with a Kavachimer and a Xer Shav, and they said, This piece of fat is underneath the the kidney on the left side, it's mutter. That's a mistake in Allah. But if they make a mistake in Metzius, that's a toast. What's the difference? Carbon. carbon. You can't rely on the Bezdin. That's a mistake in, in, in a carbon. You have to bring a carbon. But there's machlaikis here. No, this is a psak Bezdin. And a psak Bezdin, if they make a mistake, you don't bring a carbon. You base your life and your marriage on the psak Bezdin, you don't bring a carbon. I'll prove it to you that it's a psaq. In the entire Torah, we never believe Eidechon. And over here, we believe the Eidechon. My time. Says Rav Nachman, it's a psaq. Forget about it. It's a psaq. And if it's a psaq and they made a mistake in the psaq, you don't bring a carbon. Over here, you got to scratch your head a little bit. I'll prove to you that it's a mistake. So let's just say Balpeh a little bit. If Bezdin have a piece of Chelev and they say it's Mutter, and then they have a very, very strong reason to, to believe that this same piece is Osir, and then they go back to their original Psaq without changing any Svaris, they're going back to the original Psaq. Everybody in the right mind understands that you can't go on the last Psaq. They said it's motor. Then they say it's osir. Then they say it's motor. It, nothing changed. Why should I listen to them? <coughs> so l'chayro, when it comes to Eidechad, one Eidechad says the husband is dead. Come to Eidem and say, very strong. He's not dead. He's well and alive. And then comes another aid. So in a way you could say that it's motor, osir, motor. Well, the reason why it's not like that is because the, se- the final aid is not really saying anything based on, he's not, he's not the same guy as in the beginning. He's saying, yeah, it's true the two Adam witnessed that he's alive. But guess what? The next day he died, and I saw that. Fine. Well, the Gemara, what Rabbi wants to tie in over here is different. Rabbi wants to say that if it was a Psaq of Bezdin, then Bezdin messed up on a Psaq. They believe that you could trust a woman. Isha Daiko Minsaba. We're going to use the one aid together with her research and trust her to get married. Now that they messed up, 
basically this psak goes out the window for generations, for all generations. Because it was a psak, and it was a wrong psak. You can't trust women anymore. This woman messed up. We're going we're gonna to take that psak out. From the fact that we go back and we use another Eid Echad, and we say, forget what happened. Yes, an Eid Echad messed up. The woman was Daiko Mintzibah, but she wasn't so Medayik, and she messed up. We're still going to trust another Eid Echad. That proves to me, says Rava, that it's a mistake, not a psak. If it was a psak, then we would never trust another Eid ever again. Aziz Dr. Rava, let's see inside. If uh, initially they said this chaylev and dam is mutter, they saw a very strong reason similar to two adam. Compare, compare it to our case of two adam. A strong reason li surah to say that this dam, this blood, this chaylev is asur. And then when they come back and try to undo what they did, but without any good reason, the same. With the same svar that they used all the way in the beginning, we don't listen to, to Bezdin. So what about our case? So they start off saying that this woman is mutter to get married again because her husband is dead based on one aid. And then to come and say that she's Asr, that's much stronger than one aid. It knocks out the one aid. But then afterwards we use the testimony of Eid Echad against the two Eidim, my time, Lamishum de Taosu. Because, again, it's very difficult to understand this Rava. There's a lot of issues with it, at least for me. But the basic pshat. If it was a, a psak bezdin, and bezdin realized that they made a boo-boo, you can't, you can't trust the then you certainly can't trust it in this case. Bezdin is no longer trustworthy. And not only in this case, in all cases in the future. So it must be a mistake of the aid, and he made a mistake. We could trust another Eid Echad who didn't make a mistake, and she, on a mistake, you bring a karba. Rav Rebelez is Sabbath the Tosu, and Rebelez also believes it's a mistake. And Sabbath Rebelez Oimer, Yikoiv had din es ahar. I just made a graphic stam just for the, this doesn't explain anything, but the point is, get to the bottom of it. Drill through a mountain until you get to the, to the end of it, and when you get to the end of it, you'll see that there's a mistake here, and v'tavi chata shmena. Then bring a fat karba. Now, so the Gemara says, okay, if it's a mistake, so when you get to the bottom of it, you'll see that there's a mistake, and a mistake requires a carbon. But if it was based on a psak of Bezin, when Bezin messes up, you don't bring a carbon. You know when you bring a carbon, when Bezin messes up, when they, 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 psak, they pass him for the whole Klai Yisrael, and then you bring a parallel on the it's one carbon, not you individually. If they make a mistake on you individually, you don't bring a carbon. So why should you bring a carbon? Because it was a mistake, not a psak of Bezdin. Maybe he holds like the shitas that hold, that you do have to bring a carbon when Bezdin makes a mistake. So then what's the lush and look deep into it and then you'll find out. It's nothing with you looking deep into it. This, when we're learning it, a lot of people were shaking their heads. It's a tremendous chiddush l'chayr. Bezdin say, they tell her, you're single, your husband is dead. So single means she could go get married. But she didn't get married. She went, she had relations with a man she could get married to, but she didn't. But if she's an Aisha Sish, those relations she had with, those, with that man will kill her. She's Aisha Sish, she's Chayv Misa. If she's single, it's not a nice thing, it's not good, you don't get Misa for it. So we said in the Mishnah that Bezgin, Bezgin never passed that she's allowed to be with that man Stam to have relations. She passed and she, they, she could get married. It's different. They never gave her a stempel on her forehead saying, you're single. They said, we're giving you a heter to get married. And if she went ahead and she had relations, she's chayev. Which is a pal applying, no? It's a big chiddush. Says the Gemara, my kilkel, what, what exactly did she do? Rebleza oimer, zinsa, regular znos. Reb Yochan and Omar, no. It wasn't with a panuya bala panuya sort of thing. It was more almana lekayin gadol grusha v'chalus lekayin hadi. There was an iser lava over here. Man dama zinsa kol shkena almana lekayin gadol. If the man dama says that she's over and she's chayiv just for regular znos, certainly if there's a lava doy raisa almana lekayin gadol. Man dama almana lekayin gadol av zinsa loy. The man dama Rabbi Yochanan says almana lekayin gadol, but regular znos she's not chayiv. My timer the amra. You gave me a certificate that I'm single. And that's what I based it upon. 
that it's a, it's a veira of like a grusha to a koinim. Then what? This is a, a side thing. But you see, like Rabbi Yechon, that's it's a, a, a it's a deraisa, like a grusha to kain gadol, which is interesting. Here's a big chiddush. Every bio bio, and then we had a Rashi that said every kayach and kayach. But akapanim each bio bio, you don't say. That, oh, it's in one helm, it's in one awareness, and you chayiv only once. No, each bia is separate. It's considered one awareness, one helm, and she's chayiv only one. If it's individual people, then each person separates the act, and chayives, bikorban, akal echa, ve echad, she's chayiv on each man, hoil, the gufamu, chlaklim. Says the Heilige Mishnah sponsored anonymous, anonymously for that person's schos for my wife and children. Who? <laughs> oh, it is Doron. Oh, Doron, thank you for the anonymous for the schos for my wife and children. No, it's for the schos and ruchnis gashes of your children. And Lilu Nishmas, what's. Uri be matit yo. Shalom Shinav and Aliyah. First, I have to say, I see there's a lot of guesses. I have to say, Shalom Aleichem. Hold on. Where did I just see somebody hiding over there? Oh, who's that? Eugene? Shalom Aleichem, Eugene. Welcome. Ah, and who's next to you? My brother-in-law. Your brother-in-law. Uh, By the way, Eugene comes every day. Don't think I'm saying Shalom Aleichem to him now. He's, never, he's been there every day since Brachas. Okay, who else? Misa. Oh. Shalom Aleichem. I see you. Shalom no way. You got to come here. You got to come to the front. Come here. Come here. Titma Toive. Zayv Chazik Doylam. Him also? The guy next to you too? Come here. It's why I mentioned Kis Yoel. It's why I tell me the Chachumim. Ezekhan. Kind of Weissnish. Kind of at the Zen. They don't have the, the devices. They don't know what's flying. You can come. This is my music. The Kuvit, the Mishnah. All of you, all of you, what is going on? Really? You went to that good and you gave a Gemara. Wow, what a schos, a schos. You got to break it. I know somebody that just went to America, gave a drasha there, and they said it's also to mention the word that Fiyomi. MS? No, no. <laughs> You're not over there, sir. Okay. You're scared for coming. Have a seat over here. What are you sitting over there? Ah, the shock over there. Shukul Chama Yes, ah. Still in ah, this is this is yeah. 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 You, yeah. Yeah. Sit down. Bring a gemara. Give him a gemara. That's chavek. What a schos. Okay. So listen to this here. We're starting a new mission, special for you. So the husband and the son went to Medina Sayyam. Rabbi Isai, here it is on the chart. You have two Baldwin brothers. You have Reuven, Mamish, look, look. They're sitting across from you. You see the two Baldwin brothers? Look at the screen, that's them. Reuven and Shimon, the Baldwin brothers. Reuven marries Batayim. And Reuven has a child, Yusachar. Now, Rabbi Yisai, remember this. We just discussed it and some people are slightly confused. Here's the Mishnah. What happens if Reuven goes bye-bye and the same day, five hours later, the son, Yisachar, goes bye-bye? They were with Nebuch in a, in a car accident. They both went bye-bye. Is Bat'ayin Chayv in Yibam? She doesn't have any more kids. Lachem Shem Lachem. Chayv Yibam? No. Why? Because at the time of Reuven's death, he had a child. What happened later doesn't matter to us. So check this out. If he goes bye-bye, and then the other guy goes, so Mela, she could get married to somebody else, Tama, dentist from the five towns. Okay. That's what the mission says. First, the husband died. So based on that testimony, she went out and she got married to a guy in the street. And they said, no, 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 that's not what happened. What happened was, let's start over again. First, the child died. 
So the child died. If the husband dies now without children, there is a chi of yibum. Here's the line. Oh, I don't know what happened there. There's a line between Shimon and Batayin. There's a chi of, of yibum. And she had no right getting married to the dentist. So now that she got married to the dentist, you know what happens? The kid is a mamzer. But that is only according to Rebbe Kiva. Because this is a Isr Lav. There's no chorus over here. And according to Rebbe Kiva, that kid is a mamzer. Let's see inside. It's mamish fakert what what happened. Tate uh, say she has to get divorced from the dentist. Vavlad Rishoin veachrei mamzer. The first kid before she found out that she's married biisur, and the second kid after she found out that she's married biisur, all the kids of mamzerim. The Gemara is going to say there's absolutely no chiddush here. The reason why we say Rishoin and achrein. The bottom line is she. Was not allowed to marry this guy. She married him. Doesn't matter when the kid happened, whether it's before she ate choco and pizza or after. These are all side things. No shaykhs to the, to the Allah. Why does it say Rishon and Akhra? It's really not important. What if they told her the opposite? It's a different story. The same story, but in reverse. They told her that you chayiv in yibum because what happened was the child died first. So when the husband died, Bishas Misa, he didn't have any children, so now you're chayving Yibum. So she went and she was in the Siabim to her brother in law. A brother in law is the Issa Dei Raisa if there's no Yibum. But they told her there is Yibum. And they found out that there's no Yibum in this case. Now that she's an Isha Sach. So that's a, that what's Isha Sach? Chorus or Lav? Chorus. Once again, it doesn't matter. Risha and Achra, before she found out that she's also, after she found out the, her marriage to this guy, to her brother in law, is, is a chorus. End the story. Now, this is important, Risha and Achra. They told her your husband died and she got married based on that testimony that we said in the beginning of the parish. When you got married, he was still alive. Right now, he is dead. By the way, another corny joke, but it was voted the number one joke in the world back in the day. I didn't find it funny at all, but I'll tell you anyways, because it's interesting what the Oilam thinks is funny. A guy was in the forest, the hunter, and he, he found a guy that was look, very injured. So he calls up uh, you know, 911. He says, I found a guy here, he's, he's injured. I, I think he's dead, I think he's dead. So the dispatcher says, are you sure he's dead? He says, hold on one second. And the dispatcher hears, boom, comes back to the phone. Yep, he's dead now. Funniest joke ever. Okay. It's not how you say it. I messed it up. Where's Uncle Phil? It's one of the, it's the delivery room. Okay. I also thought so. Oh, well, amaze, amaze. So they said, Maze Balik. No. Kayamaya, he's alive. Oh, and then Mays, and then he died. Tate she must leave him. Vavlad Rishoin Mamzer. Now this is important. Now we have a Rishoin. The, the son that was born when the husband, original husband, was still alive. The son that was born from the second guy is 100 percent of Mamzer. Vahroin, her husband is already dead. And now the relations that she has with the second guy are not a Dairaisa. Vahroin any Mamzer. Um, or not, they don't cause them amzeros. Um, so this is what we had yesterday, this, this, this line over here. They told her, your husband is dead. So she went and she received kiddushin from another man, a ring. There's no iser in that. Maybe it's not tznius, whatever. It's no iser, they raise them. And then her husband shows up and she, what's going on? Why do you have a ring on your finger? Because all she did was she accepted Kiddushin from another man, so she let her go back to her original husband. Now, and we had this yesterday as well, even if the second guy gave her a get, that doesn't make her a grusha. Why? Because he's not her husband. It's a friend of the guy, a second, a second guy, not even related to her. 
He thought she, he's married to her, but the Kiddushim was not chal because she's still married to her first husband, who's still alive. So therefore, by him giving a get, zero. It has to be a woman who's divorced from her husband, not a divorce that she got from a, 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 just a shmo in the street. Says the Gemara, my Rishon, my Achron, and now the Gemara explains, what is, what is a son from the first, in the, in the, in the end, the beginning, the, 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 the first and the second, Elay my Rishon, Lefnei Shmua, Vachron, Lefnei Shmua, if we're talking about before and after the rumor, listening to Vlad Mamzer, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. She's married to, to husband number one. He was still alive at the time. It doesn't matter when she had a child from another man. Before rumor, after rumor, it's always a Mamzer. Says Gemara, you're right. I already pointed it out. The third case. They told her, your husband was alive when you got married, but today he's dead. So Arisha Mamzer, the son she had when the husband was still alive, he's a Mamzer. But the son she had after he died, ain't a Mamzer. So therefore, even though it makes no difference at all, we said it anyways. So, here's the Pasuk, Yeshua Achim Yafet Mamei Zechayim there's an Isidur Raisa for a Yevama to go marry somebody else when she's still Zkuka to her Yavam. So according to Rebbe Kiva, this creates Mamzerus. Says Gemara, Ava Chachamim, Oymrim, Hus Chachamim, Lachayr, those who argue on Rebbe Kiva, they say, Ei Mamzer Yevama. No, it doesn't create a Mamzer, it's only a Lav. Says the Gemara, Valeme Ei Mamzer Mechay Velav, and just say, Chachamim argue in general on the whole concept. They say anytime there's a lav, there's no mamzer. Why do they say there's no mamzer <coughs> from a yevama? All lavim. Says Gemara, Haytana, Haytana, the Rebbe who, if you remember, go back to Daf Mem Tes. I know it's small letters. We had five sheetas. When what creates a mamzer? Shimon Atimani says Karis. Rebbe Shua says Misas Bezin. In Rebbe Kiva, we had three sheetas. Is it a, a regular lav? Or the top one is lav of kurva. When you are, could you read it? Only a lav specifically to do with arayas. For instance, your chalutza. If you, instead of doing yibum, you give a woman a shoe, a chalitza, you do the whole chalitza thing, that's an iser lav, but it has to do with being related to the brother-in-law. That creates a mamzer. But a yivama to the market... Yivama Lashuk, it's not a relation. She is a Yivama. She has to go with her Yavam. Instead of being with her Yavam, she went and she married Joe Shmo. They're not related. That's a love. That doesn't create a Mamzer. So that's what the Gemara is saying. It's not Chachamim. It's within Rebbe Kiva. It's one of those three green things. One of them is Chachamim in Rebbe Kiva who say that it's a Yivama doesn't create Mamzerus. Meaning, what he's trying to say is, because they're not related. But other Relations, only a love with relations, Arias creates Mamzerus. That's what the Gemara was trying to say. Oh, I tana hach tana the Rebekiva. No, it's within Rebekiva. Only a love that's related, like a chalutza, but just the Yivam al-Shok, lo yavim Mamzer. Omer Rav Yehuda. Tzadik Bey, Zom the Bey, sponsored by Moshe Horn in honor of Hillel Zen. Sponsored in honor of myself. Omer Rav, says Rav. Minayin chen kiddushin toifsin bi Yavama. If a regular guy off the street wants to marry Yavama, and he gives her a ring, it's zero. She doesn't need a get. Shenem ar loisiyah eishas hameis hachutza lishzar. Loisiyah ba havaya lishzar. As we see this pasuk over here, loisiyah means there shouldn't be a marriage, there shouldn't be a marriage together. Let's see about a vayelazar to a stranger. It doesn't. It doesn't chap at all. It doesn't catch on. Ushmul Omar bani yuseinu tzricha get. Like we say a lot. Ani is daiti nira. You know, anova. Ani means poor. We don't have a lot of seichel. Says Shmuel. I don't know. I don't have a good mind to to figure out what's going on here. Misabkil is Shmuel had a sofik. Hi, let's see. Aishas ameis either lavud also. Does this pasuk just come to say that there's a lav? Either like tavsi b'kedushin or also, or the pasuk saying that it doesn't even grab at all, and you don't need a get. So memela, what does he do, Shmuel? Since he doesn't know what the pasuk means, he argues on Rav and he says she needs a get. 
I don't know if she doesn't need a get. <coughs> you Rav are so certain that the Kedushan doesn't ha- is not typhus at all, and you don't need I don't know. I have a suffix. I need a get. Omalei, Rav Mori, Barachal, Rav Ashi. Again, we have this many, many times in Shas. Shmuel's daughter, unfortunately, was kidnapped. She was a captive. And one of the Gaim over there, Isur, his name was, he violated her. And she got pregnant. So it was Hirosoi, Shaloi Bigdusha. And then Isur Giyaira became a Ger. He became, his name was Isur, he became a Giyaira, became a Ger. Rav Mari, many times Shas, says Allah has and things very Chashev, the grandson of Shmuel. But we'll never mention his father's name because of what happened. Also, it's not his father. Halakhically, he's not even his father. He wasn't, he wasn't a Yid then. So Melet says, This is what I mean. Halach give us say the Shmuel. That looks like my grandfather. That what? That this woman, this Yavama who accepted Kiddushin from a random man, not from her Yavam, requires a get misafik. Omar Ravashi. Hashdomar Meimar. Let's give us say the Shmuel. Now that we know that this Yavama needs a get, Imhoi Yavama Koyen. Check out the thing. So we have over here, slow. Oh. In this particular case, Reuben and Shimon are Koyhanim. So now Reuben goes bye bye. And Shimon is supposed to be Miyabim Batay. But instead, what happened was she goes and she marries the dentist. That's the sugi we're talking about. Now, Skidushin Chal, Skidushin Achal. So what happens if the dentist gives Batayin a get? So Batayin can't have Yibom from Shimon, right? Because Batayin is a Grusha and Shimon is a Kayin. So what should Shimon do? Check this chart out. Oh, he does Chalitza. Why? Now he does Chalitza and the dentist could remain married to Batayin. Ask the Gemara, Chalitza, Vesharile. He just does Chalitza and he can be... This is Mendy Auerbach's favorite line in Shas. I feel bad for him. This is the first time in Shas since Brachas that we have it. It's all over Shas. We didn't have it for the last 950 days. This line. That what? Idgure Idgar. He's got, not that part. He's going to benefit. Imkein Motzinu Chaitan Iskar. Ah, he loves it. He used to ask so many cashes of Chaitan Iskar. Right? In the olden days. You forgot about it because it wasn't brought up in all these, in two years basically. I'm serious. Then from here on out, you'll, you'll have it a bunch of times. This bandit, this uh, dentist guy, he had no business marrying the Yavama. Let him, tell him, give a divorce and show me Israel. He won't be, a, so what if the, why are you being nice to him and say the Kayin should give a Chalitza? And if it's a Chalitza, then they could be together. Yeah? Chayda should never be niskar. The marshal, a guy has an organization, a yeshiva, let's say, and he, he decides he's going to do a little bit of an avera, I don't know, a little gneva, he won't pay back a loan, whatever. Well, the mice, it's, it's, it's for the tzoyach gadol, it brings a lot, a lot of tire to the world. No, a chayda is not niskar. He'll never make any mitzvah from it, nothing will ever happen from it. The fakir, if he controls himself and doesn't do it, that's the mitzvah. Okay. Ain't choyta niskar. It never happens that if you cheat in business, you're going to make money. It doesn't happen. It doesn't work. Then Hashem will take it from a different way. Elam hoya yivama Yisrael. So no. So what we're trying to say is no. If the yivama, not a koyin, the, the guy, Shimon is a Yisrael. No yisrael l'sheni get. He does have to give a get. The dentist does give a get. He doesn't benefit from this. Vuhutralai. That's what he's trying to say. Tremendous chiddush. Check this out. If... Let's see. If this guy right over Shimon is not a coin, put an X over here. Not a coin. He's Yisrael. Listen to this Chiddush. Even though this bad guy, in this case, he's a great guy actually. This dentist guy married Batayin, he must give her a divorce. And the Chiddush is, Batayin has Yibum with Shimon. You don't say, like in our Mishnah, since it was a mistake, we're talking about, sorry, so you have to say, we're talking about a case that they get married, not because he's a bad guy. Because Adam said that she's not royal for Yibum. He had a kid when he died and everything, this. It's no Yibum. 
And then they found out that the kid died actually earlier. See, that's the case, says Rashi. So in that case, since it's a mistake, the Zibom, she goes back. Yes, no? Nachamon? Okay. This, this dentist, what? This dentist married the Zibom, not because he's a bad guy. Because he thought, and she thought, that, he, that, that she's not a Yivama. That Ruvain, when he went bye-bye, had a child somewhere. The Edom came later on and said, your marriage to the dentist is wrong. The child died two years before. You don't, you don't know the story. He died in a different accident. You didn't have children when he died. So you're a Yivama. You're, you have to go with Shimon. The halacha is, tremendous chiddush. Dentist gives a divorce to the Yivama, says, I'm sorry, nice marriage, nice life, bye-bye. And she goes and she's misyabim, not chalitza, yibum to shimim, because it was a mistake. Behut reloi. Omer Rav Gidol Omer Rav, Bar Yosef Omer Rav, says Rav, yivama kiddushin eimba. You should know that if you give a ring, a tabas, you give kesef kiddushin to yivama, doesn't, it's not nothing. You don't need a get. Nisuin yeshba. But there is marriage. Says Gemara, the obvious question. Ikiddushin eimba, if you didn't even get it to step one, how do you get to step two? Nisuin is only the second part. First you give a ring, and then you do chupa. Is that even Nisuin? says Gemara, Eimah Kiddushin, Vin Nisuin Eimah. You're right. Mistake. We have to, it's, it basically, it's one of these riddles. Raf says a riddle. Kiddushin Eimah, Nisuin Yeshba. What does that mean? No, okay, so we have to change the riddle a little bit. Kiddushin Vin Nisuin Eimah. Nothing is chah. What? What about my mom? Oh. You're talking about uh, 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 no, yeah, but you don't need to get me the raisa. My name is only the rabbanon. You don't need to get me the raisa. I hear. We have to be gorgeous here, kiznos. That what? The nesuin is as if she had znos. That the point is. That even if she wasn't Mizana, there was no relations at all. The fact that they did Nisun, Nisun doesn't mean be at all. It could be just be Chupa. It's like she was Mizana and she's Usr to the Yivama, to the to Yav. Vibay say, Meloylam kida amar mi karo, no, you do need a get from the second guy. Kiddushin aimba, Nisun yeshba. No, Kiddushin is not chal, meaning you don't have to give a get for that. But for the, for the marriage, if it's a full fledged marriage, you do need to get, we had something similar before, and here goes. Just like we had, that if a woman's husband goes to Medina Sayyam, and she got married to a second man, she needs, and then we find out that the first guy's alive, she needs a get from the second guy. But why do you need a get from the second guy? She was never married to the second guy. The answer is, because people are going to think, and they're going to talk, you're going to think that she was married to the second guy, and here's the second guy, what? She, she, she's just walking around without a get. So two over here, we're geyser on the nesuin that she needs a get. Omer Biyanai, Bechabur and Nimnu Vigamru and Kiddush and Taifsim, we sat around and we, we, we counted a vote and we decided there's no Kiddush because of the Pasuk. We decided that that's how we read the Pasuk. That there's no Havaya, there's no, you can't marry a stranger and therefore you don't even require a get. Rebbe says Rebbe Yochanan to his own Rebbe, Rebbe Yanai. Can't we learn it out from a Mephorosh Mishnah of the Snan? Says the Mishnah. The guy is a complete guy, but he wants to make sure she doesn't get married to someone else. Here's a, here's a ring. I'll be married here. The, the process takes three years, and three years I'll, we'll be married. It doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? Because it's It doesn't exist. A slave says it. You. This guy is really bad. He's, he's counting on the husband dying. He's sick in the hospital. Here, here's a ring today. Don't marry anybody else. Or he's married to her own sister. And so he's not allowed to marry two sisters. So he tells her, don't worry, I'm poisoning her. She'll be dead in a few days. Take the ring now. Oh, this is what we're looking for. After this chalitza, meaning... That right now I can't be Mekadish you. Do you see Mefurish that it's Dover Shaloi Balaylam? Why can't he say, here's Kiddush right now, and the Khalid will happen tomorrow? Because it's not Chal at all. 
Says Rabbi Yochanan, you see Mefurish in the Mishnah. Enum Kudesh. Listen to this, Rabbi Yisai. Omalei, he loved the loy lochaspa. He tells his Talmud, yes, it's a Mefurish in Mishnah. After I told you this halacha, you found the right pshat in the Mishnah. You're right. It's a great pshat and that's the pshat in the Mishnah. You only thought about it after I told it to you. Once I dis- you discovered this halacha for me, you found it in the Mishnah. Don't come betain it to me. Oh, it's a Mephurusha Mishnah. <laughs> yeah, it's a Mephurusha Mishnah after I told you. As Mechadish to you, this, this halacha. If not for the fact that I un- removed this stone, this piece of cheres, uh, you'd find this beautiful pearl. So you just go one more line. Over the shlokish. All the shlokish. Over shlokish. Counterpart. The brother-in-law to Rabbi Yochanan tells Rabbi Yochanan, "You love the castle of Gavir Rabba. If not, that Rabbi Yana gave you such praise and said, oh, 'Oh, you're doing great,' or the pshat is great. Have I mean I would have told you you're wrong. It's not a good raya from the Mishnah. Masnisa Rabbi Kivi. Don't mind condition toys. But Chayvi Lavin. The Mishnah is going according to Rabbi Kivi that says that." That's why you can't give Kiddushin today. Because it doesn't grab. Anytime you have a lav, there's no Kiddushin. Chachamah are the ones that hold that if there's a lav, Kiddushin works. Even against the lav. Rabbi Kiva says, no, it's a mamzer and there's no Kiddushin, nothing. So I'll say, I'll tell you, the whole Mishnah is Rabbi Kiva. Here, look, our Mishnah, no matter is Rabbi Kiva. Why can't this be Rabbi Kiva? Have a wonderful day. Yishkoyach and Kiryas Yoyal. Ah, what a schos. Yishkoyach.